I'm going to test my theory out about markets crashing and how to, how to survive through a market crash, through this little market crash, and see what happens. Make 50% more money than I did the year before. That's when I knew I had something. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Understand right now, listen to what I'm saying, that you will experience a downtick in your transactions temporarily, even if the market crashes and stays down for years like it did. Okay, we just readjust, you know, we'll, we'll let the dust settle and then, and then continue on helping people through the crash. The, the, the market is set up, <laughs> listen guys, the entire business, the entire game, the entire industry is set up for each and every one of you to win big. The infrastructure is in place already. You don't, you don't really have to, it's there for you, okay? When the market corrects, what, what does correction mean? Price is correct. Why do they correct? To get down to a price where people will buy. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? People will buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> Transactions continue to happen every single day. So when this transition happens and your business suffers temporarily, realize that that's okay. This is gonna happen a little bit. Now we need to get on the phone. See, I haven't made cold calls in a while, okay? And this is my theory behind it. People who get their business up to, let's say 150,000 a year, they work really hard, they prospect, they build a database, they get it up to 150000 a year. Okay, once they get it up to 150000 a year, they think, oh, I got this, this is in the bags. I, can, I don't have to call anymore. I can just work my sphere. Work all these past clients and referrals and stuff like that. Okay, as soon as you let off the gas of the new prospects, now your business will continue to go, but it plateaus at one hundred fifty. 150,000 a year, 150. You see these agents that make 150 every year, they're not, caught, they're not trying to grow their business. They're just maintaining their business, right? And so with me, and you have to find the balance between your past clients and your new clients. If you wanna exponentially grow your business, you have to find that perfect balance between spending time with your past clients, which I just, I just do with the weekly email. I build my brand there, I stay in touch with them there, okay? And then also, where's, where's, the, where's the gasoline for the fire with the new prospects? See, a lot of people only do one or the other. They only go after new, or they only focus on their old. And either way it goes, you're gonna lose. You gotta find that balance in between. So when I built my business up to a million a year, three years ago, I finally hit it. And then I let the gas off of the new, I'm just concentrating on past kinds of referrals and hit a million every year since. I plateaued right there. I'm fine with that. I'm sure you guys will be too. <laughs> right? But now, I'm, now I'm, I have my side hustle, which is writing books, speaking, doing YouTube, coaching, and I love that. It's something that I really, really love and it's helping so many people, so why wouldn't I continue doing it? Every time I get a message, from one of you. There was a message I got on the way home from dinner last night. It was a voice message, a Facebook voice message or whatever from an agent telling me that we, you know, we messaged back and forth. I didn't really know who it was. He left me this voice message after I answered his questions and stuff and said, hey, I didn't want to text this. It was too long. I just wanted to say, I found you about it. I was about to quit a year ago. I found you. And now I made 160000 last year. And it's just stuff like that that keeps me, keeps me going. It, 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 just, it just makes me continue to, to come to events like this and to write and to speak and to do videos and, and things like that. So anyway, getting up to the million, I got back into business, realized it was about people, not money. And that's when everything changed. Every conversation I had with a prospect was, was like I was talking to like my brother or my mom or my dad. Like, I, like it was just a different kind of conversation than before the market crash when it was all about the money for me. I was just trying to get them to sign the line and do a deal. But the conversations I was having when I got back in the business were like meaningful. And I could, they felt it, I felt it. And I was like, man, this, they're gonna do business with me forever. And I, and I want to help them forever. I wanna help them do their, you know, accomplish their goals in real estate, you know? So, 
through all that, you know, long story short, back in 2008, I got back in the business. A real epiphany was when the oil spill hit in 2010. It affected my market. It was a huge downturn for about six or eight months. Everybody thought it was going to be black seas. People were moving away and stuff. And I made more money. I made 100,000 the year before that, 150 the year of the oil spill because I just did exactly what I just told you guys. The market transition when the oil spill hit, there was a shock in the market. There was a transition, had fewer transactions temporarily. I said, okay, I'm gonna test my theory out about markets crashing and how to, how to survive through a market crash, through this little market crash and see what happens, make 50% more money than I did the year before. That's when I knew I had something. So from there, I moved to Remax, which is the number one company where I'm at. I wanted to be around all the top producers. I think it's important. To